So talking about remedies, uh, gemstones are also a very big uh, remedial um, resort that a lot of our astrologers recommend us to. So uh, can you tell us whether you know, gemstones are meant for everybody and should everybody be wearing them or only in certain uh, you know, astrological parameters you're supposed to wear them and avoid otherwise? Absolutely, Pritika. I agree that gemstones has not to be used by everybody. It has to be only prescribed only when it is necessary. As I told you, earth element has to be there. And there are, see, there are four reasons why you can and you cannot wear gemstones. Out of those four conditions, only one condition you will wear a gemstone. I'll tell you what are those four conditions, then you will understand. So the first condition is gemstones. You, you, if your if a planet is weak, and if the planet is not favorable for you, would you wear a gemstone and strengthen that planet? No, you will not. Because it is weak, let it remain weak. A planet is malefic, which means it's not favorable for you and it is strong. Would you wear a gemstone for that planet? You will not. Why do you want to give it additional power? Because it is unfavorable for you. Okay. A planet is strong and favorable. Do you really need more power? You don't need. The only condition where you will wear a gemstone is the planet is favorable for you, but is weak and I want to strengthen that planet. So I've given you four conditions. A planet is unfavorable and weak. You will not give a gemstone. A planet is unfavorable and strong. 100% you will not give a gemstone. A planet is you know, favorable and strong. Why do you need to give them an expensive gemstone? Planet is strong and it is also favorable. Only condition I will give a gemstone in case the planet is favorable and it is a weak disposition. Avasta, which means it is not in a strong. Then I would propose. But then I will also look whether if I propose that gemstone for the person is there any yogas that are creating which will enhance the yoga or deplete some other yoga? That also has to be, you know, seen. So when I explain to you, moon has to be strong in the chart. Saturn has to be strong or Saturn has to promise that you can wear a gemstone. Because Saturn is holding all absorption capacity is there with Saturn. So that is why the you know i would never give gemstones unless i am completely sure that it is safe to give a gemstone it is like i have calcium deficiency only then i will take calcium supplements i don't have calcium deficiency why am i going to take the supplements then can i have an overdose of that yes you can have an overdose if you're taking you have enough of you know vitamins why are putting more vitamins only if there is deficiency you will start taking vitamins and minerals isn't it similarly this is the same because the gemstone has no intelligence inbuilt in it to make to understand your chart and to give its results all the gemstone is it is a reservoir of energies it is just knows how to transmit that energy the gemstone has no intelligence to decide whether it is good for you or bad for you only an astrologer who has this insight will be able to give you whether it is going to be beneficial or not beneficial. And unfortunately, there are too many astrologers out there who misguide because one of my friends was recently telling me that um, his village astrologer asked him to wear the Munga stone, you know, for Mangal and things were going wrong. He was meeting with accidents and, you know, everything was going wrong for him. And it's much later, I think many, many months later that he realized that it was that stone. And finally, he took it off and everything fell in place. So whoever is watching us, please uh, make note of this very important point. Do not get into wearing stones without consulting the right astrologer. Also, what I want to say, Pritika, is, you know, it has become 
a fear mongering that has happened and it is a business for many people because they many of the astrologers also sell these gemstones that's why for them it is a business so they are not even bothered about the implications karmic implications by recommending gemstones and sometimes what you sell gemstones at such a price which is astronomically high and you are given to believe that you are see gemstones cannot change your karmas 100% don't think that by wearing a gemstone you will become rich or by you know where but it can backfire and it can give you health related issues it can backfire and yeah it can do so many other damage to you because the gemstone has no intelligence as i said it is just going to give you power and it is going to whether you already have that element or are you going to energize or no so be very careful about gemstones what about wearing gold can anybody wear gold or does that also need a astrological um, consultation see gold has been used since time immemorial gold is connected to sun and jupiter and that's why gold has said to be very precious for everybody because wearing jupiter is said to be always good but you have to see also when you are uh, you know giving remedies whether that gold would be activating something now for somebody who has jupiter in the third bhava or the third house i would never give them a gold necklace to wear because by wearing a neck is the third house and wearing a necklace or a chain in the neck you are depleting the energy of that or you are strengthening the energy of that jupiter because jupiter in the third is called as marana karaka sthana it is already weak why do you want to weaken it by wearing a so you have to see a chart before you recommend anything silver metals also as i said only earth element has to be has to be you know weak to offer you know uh, metals dhatu mula jiva these are the three concepts you have to know dhatu means the metals and the mineral kingdom mula means the plant kingdom jiva means animal kingdom so first you understand whether you have to do remedies with wearing gemstones metals minerals or you know and semi precious stones can you plant trees that is the most beautiful remedy that nobody talks about can you gift trees plants 100% it is like taking prana because they give you oxygen that is our life force energy so by gifting the safest way what you can gift you can gift plants that is very good because you are giving them mula mula means it got the roots it going to strengthen the roots but don't give bonsai bonsai is stunted growth when you keep bonsai at home it is like some trees have been stunted the growth has been stunted the real potential of the tree can be very big but you can't keep stunted things inside the house natural plants don't keep creepers inside the house they are moon if your moon is weak then it can creepers is what your uh, your what do you call that money plant right which are like a creeper don't keep creeper right. money tree is okay there is you know in anything that gives you green, greenery aloe vera these are good things you can keep it at home tulsi is the best every household has a tulsi tulsi is the best thing because the the smell also is very good and then jiva which means do more for animals and birds the mute animals fish in the water you are healing your water energy birds air air because they are flying birds you feed birds feed crows feed pigeons you know and then land animals dogs you know quadrupeds cats dogs cow these are very beautiful energies which you do not have to look at a chart because don't do it as a remedy do it it has to come from your heart you are doing that healing energy it's so beautiful when you see planting a tree you don't need why go for these gemstones when you can do so many other good things like planting trees gifting trees you can go and you know feed animals feed birds feed uh, you know fish so many good things don't capture them don't put an aquarium in your house go to nature and feed them in nature that is when you are aligned with nature and nature will always give you in bountiful what you deserve you will definitely get wow that's beautiful